It's not good, but I love it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Adriana and today I'll be going over my TBR for October, November, and December. In the month of October, I will be participating in the Squash That Series Readathon hosted by Is Bailey Reading and Kayla Ray Reads. I am very excited to be participating this time. It is going to be for two weeks in October, starting around the 7th and ending around the 20-something? I think they're giving us like three full weekends, so starting Friday, October 7th, the next weekend, the weekend after, and then closing on that Monday of the third weekend. So we are getting three weekends, but it's like two-ish weeks. That was a lot. <laughs> but it is a team read-along. I am on Team Bailey, and with the teams, you garner points with your teams depending on what books you read and how they fit the prompts. Longer books get more points for your own teams, but there are several prompts that take points away from the other team. I will put up the points breakdown over here so you can take a look at it if you want, but I will also have Bailey's and Kayla's announcement videos linked in the description if you want a more in-depth review, I guess, of all the rules. So I will go ahead and just get started with my TBR for that since it is kind of at the beginning of this last quarter of the year. So the first book I would like to tackle is Black Order by James Rollins. This is the third installment of the Sigma Force series. I just finished the second one like a couple days ago, so I am very excited to jump into the third. It is a 504 page novel. <laughs> oh, I guess if you include like the author's note and like the truth or fiction section, it is 509. So we're clocking in right at that 500 page mark to give us 200 points for my team. I will also put up the points thing again and just like show which one this applies to and then put up its total points for my team and the total points against the other team because I don't remember what that all is right now. <laughs> I'm also planning on trying to finish out the Inheritance Game. Okay yeah they're just called the Inheritance Game series. I read the Inheritance Game last year and enjoyed it. I heard there is a bit of a sophomore slump with the second one so I figured I'd wait till the third one came out to like binge the rest of the series. It works out great for this readathon because you do get many many points taken away from the from the other team for finishing a series, so I am excited about that. The Hawthorne Legacy is about 350 pages, and the final gambit is about 374, so these are both in that 300 to 400 range, so I won't be garnering that many points, but with finishing the series and a couple of other prompts these both fit, I will hopefully be taking away quite a few points from the other team. I'm also planning on reading The Kiss Quotient, the second book after The X-Hex. I really, really enjoyed The X-Hex. I read it around October last year. It's a really fun kind of Halloween, fall time read, a witchy romance. So again, a shorter book, but I think I do have a little bit as far as taking away points from the other team, and I think it will be a good time. On audiobook, I am planning on listening to The Son of Neptune, the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series. I'm currently listening to the first one as kind of a reread. I really want to reread this entire series and get kind of caught back up in the Percy Jackson universe. I've definitely read all of the Heroes of Olympus, but it has been since they first came out. So I haven't read and interacted with these books in a very long time. So I'm definitely enjoying the first one right now, excited to jump into the second one. So those are the books I'm planning to read during that two week span. That is a little bit ambitious for me, but you know, it's a readathon. What is it if we don't challenge ourselves to uh, read a little more than we were expecting. So before I jump into the other books I'm planning on reading during this last quarter, please consider liking and commenting on this video and subscribing to my channel if you like bookish things. I do have a couple arcs I want to get to before the end of the year because they will be getting archived <laughs> slash being published in this last quarter, so I would like to try to get to them before they do that. One of which is The Lost Witch. This story centers on a witch from the 1920s in Ireland who gets transported to the current day and has to save her village. It's just a net alley arc that looked interesting. I think it'll be a great witchy read for Halloween, so I'm hoping I love it. Another one I am 
really really excited about is the Heart of the Sun Warrior. This is the follow-up to Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I really enjoyed Daughter of the Moon Goddess a lot more than I was expecting. I have very high hopes for this sequel. I think it will hopefully be really great. And then finally the last arc I would like to get to is Scatterlings by... I'm gonna have to read this out and do my best. Rusoketsue Menenze. Menenze. Hopefully I didn't butcher that too bad, but this is one I'm really looking forward to. It is by a debut author in South Africa and was a huge hit in South Africa and is now being published for the United States. I think it sounds really, really, really intriguing. It focuses on a couple in 1920s South Africa who have to deal with the repercussions of the Immorality Act of 1927 that makes their interracial marriage illegal. Just That just sounds really, really interesting and I think it could be a really impactful story and hopefully stick with me for a while. So this one gets published in December, so I am hoping that I really love it and I can promote it to all of you and everyone can love it. And then finally, just some other other books <laughs> that I would like to get to in this last quarter. Let me grab them. <laughs> Continuing on my Sigma Force bullshit, I have The Judas Strain is the fourth book. So just continuing on with my reread of the Sigma Force. I've just, it's been really fun to just jump into something that is so nostalgic for me and just fun. It's not good but I love it. <laughs> Swinging the pendulum the other direction, I need to get to For Who th mm. For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway by the end of this year. This was one of my goal books from the beginning of the year that I wanted to read. You know, I'm a consummate procrastinator and save this for the very last. But also, I've mentioned this a couple times, but I am getting married in February and our honeymoon is going to be in Sun Valley, Idaho, where Ernest Hemingway spent the last years of his life. So I would really like to, you know, read some of his books before I go enjoy this area. I read The Old Man and the Sea le this last month and really enjoyed it. I found his writing style to be very captivating. So I'm excited to jump into something with a little more narrative to it. <laughs> and then of course, like everyone else, I will be reading Babel. I am hoping to start on this one soon, but I, like everyone else, adored the Poppy War trilogy. I am so looking forward to this. This dark academia vibe I think is perfect as the weather starts to cool off. So I think this will just be a really interesting read to jump into. And finally, the last book I want to try to get to is Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus? Garmu? Who knows? I picked this up in Missoula while on my bachelorette trip. It is about a food scientist who ends up becoming kind of a, not celebrity chef, but I guess uh, like food network TV host. Celebrity TV host. Something. <laughs> Anyway, so just kind of documenting her story as an actual food scientist and how she is coping with being in kind of this food TV world. I think it'll be super fun and interesting. My sister is studying food science in graduate school, so I am hoping I can kind of annotate this and hand this off to her and she'll really enjoy it as well. I've said this many, many times on my channel, but I love women in STEM. Uh, normally it's a romance, women in STEM sort of vibe, but I also love just a general fiction women in STEM vibe. Women in STEM vibe. Women in STEM. Women in STEM. That's hard to say. Those are all the books I want to read. It's a little ambitious, but I think I'm going to get there. And I think it's going to be a very good time. So let me know if you've read any of these books and your thoughts. Get me amped up to read and blast through everything. And thanks so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video.